In this video, we're going to look at formatting in Microsoft Project using text styles. So the text styles we're going to affect in this video are the summary tasks. So we've got a summary task here for advertising and a summary task here for interview selection. So we're going to address the formatting of these summary tasks and they'll be automatically both be updated. So when you go to the form format tab, format section of the ribbon, text styles, now you can change the, the font size of different features. So you've got lots and lots of different options here you can change. I'm going to change the summary tasks. Now the standard font size is eight. I'm going to increase it a little bit to nine. I'm going to leave it on bold, so bold is the default. I'm going to leave it Arial. I'm going to change the font color to blue and the background color to a, a light goldy color. And now OK. So when I click OK, that will then mean that the formatting for both of the summary tasks will update themselves. OK, and there's the change. If you wanted to get rid of them, you could do undo, but if you've saved it, you couldn't do undo. So let's pretend it's been saved. Text styles, all summary tasks, and then you've got to make the change. So we can always go for the color automatic color, background, automatic, so this is the default settings. And the only thing you'd have to remember is if you change the font size to nine, I can change that to eight. Then okay, and there's the change. So I'm gonna change it once more to leave formatting on. So textiles. Summary tasks. I'm gonna go for a, again, font color of a dark blue font size 10 this time, make it stand out a bit more. And I'm going to go for a light grey background. And OK. So now we can see what the formatting will do every time we, we now insert a summary task. This is the way the formatting will appear. And this completes the training video on formatting using textiles and in this example we updated the summary task plus put it back to its original settings and then finally put some different formatting on the summary tasks. If you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.